team is led by Red One. So running at Jim Turner, who's now moving there to the seven arrow formation. The jets now froze up to be about six to eight feet apart as they form one big red arrow in the sky a mile above us. It's Jim's first year as team leader, having previously been a Red Arrow for the 2005 to 2007 seasons and as part of the Synchro pair. He's a former Jaguar qualified weapons instructor and Jaguar display pilot. But his most recent post has been working with the Royal Saudi Air Force's equivalent to the Red Arrows, where he was their official advisor. As the smoke comes on, the four aircraft is in the right place. So listen in as the team perform the shuttle roll. The aircraft there, six to eight feet apart, flying at 400 miles an hour and 2,500 feet above us. On the left of the formation as we look tail off, this red five is running to Martin Higgins. Higgy. Higgy is the has rejoined for this year and has been red for the 2005 and Biggie's a former Hawk flying instructor and Tornado F3 pilot, seeing operational service in Iraq and as the commander of the air defense flight in the Falkland Islands. As the smoke comes on, you can see the wings straighten to form a formation we call flanker. In this position, the outside guys, race four and five, will have to anticipate their inputs to make sure they keep the wings straight. But listen in to Red One's commands as they present flanking. Notice Red One has a cadence in his voice that the guys are using for the infinite. Now. As the smoke comes on, Red One has called the team into Phoenix formation for an emotional part of this year's routine. Reds four and five on the outside of the formation will smoke red as we remember our lost friends and colleagues, Flutton and John Egging and Flutton and Sean Cunningham, who were tragically killed in separate accidents last year. They are both sorely missed and out of perhaps their families and friends. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our memorial bend for Eggman and Sean. <laughs> Continuing with that theme of remembrance, this year sees the long-awaited unveiling of the memorial to the Royal Air Force and Commonwealth Air Crew from Bomber Command who lost their lives during World War II. The memorial in Green Park in London will honour those 55,573 men who gave everything so that we may be free to their command. joining the Royal New Zealand Air Force. When they disbanded their fast jet squadrons in 2002, he transferred to the Royal Air Force, becoming a Hawk flying instructor and a carrier GR9 pilot. As the smoke comes on now, the aircraft on the wings will drop back to form our largest formation shape, Concorde. You can see now that the four aircraft are right back on Red 7's wing, and the slightest change in the references will equate to a larger error in their formation position. But this is Concorde. Long, is flown by another of our first year pilots, Red 2, but of Martin Hurt. Hurt, as we call him, was a ball. They roll at 45 degrees to our left. Get ready to get the cameras, ladies and gentlemen. Well, oh, 
Oh. The aircraft pull up there at 400 miles an hour at four times the force of gravity. The aircraft there now forming that one big red arrow 6,000 feet above us as they slow down to about 120 miles an hour. Jubilee weekend when they come back down the hill in their seven arrow formation, they'll twist it left with a bit of red, white, and blue to be all the post for this weekend. Okay. Immediately to the left of the leader now is the last of our first year pilots, Red 3, Captain Mike Child, or Chaiki, another former Hawk flying instructor. He eventually was selected to fly the Typhoon, which is the Royal Air Force's newest fighter, one I hope you'll see this afternoon you'll find very, very impressive. Chaiki joined the Red Arrows this year, and as he just forms a diamond shape there, it is our short diamond with seven eggs. short diamond roll. That's the end of the first half of our display, ladies and gentlemen, where you've seen some close forming positioning to start the second half. The front five aircraft, where it's one to five, known as Enid, after Enid Blyton's famous five. We'll start with some more patriotic red, white, blue. Ladies and gentlemen, as the smoke comes on, get your cameras ready. This is the detonator. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Enid Smoke comes on for a manoeuvre, this is called a quarter clover, so it's a, a loop with a twist through 90 degrees. They pull up at four times the force of gravity at 400 miles an hour. And then they start their twist in this loop. in battle formation as they perform the python. Take the final 
new route to show, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Infinity Break. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2012 Red Arrows. So now look to your right hand side, this is squadron leader Scott Lochran. This is Typhoon.
So with that beautiful pull into the vertical, three twinkle rolls on the way up. 